decided that we're going to build a dirt screed. Um, went down to the local feed store, I guess you'd call it. It's called the Runnings. And found some wire mesh that's two by four. Um, it's not as small as I want it, but it's the smallest I could find that's a heavy duty gauge. So what we're going to do is build a, a box frame for it. We're thinking eight by eight right now. It's going to be eight feet tall is how high my tractor will lift is eight feet tall. So um, that's what we're going to do. Eight feet tall, eight feet long um, for now. We'll probably have a two foot rise on the bottom of it so we can get in there and scoop the material away. I've got some old rough cut we dug out of the garage. We're just gonna do a temporary build and you know build it good enough so we can get some topsoil screeded off and then uh, if it works good maybe we'll build it out of some pressure treated or something later on. That's what we're doing today on this smoky day in New York. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, smoke from Canada wildfires are definitely getting to us down here. Stay tuned. Pretty heavy duty stuff. We're cutting this down to three foot. This is five foot all the way across. This is going to be our box. This is five foot across here. It's going to be eight foot long, eight foot wide. Big one. Build the box out of two by six lumber. See how that holds up. They end up ninety four inches long. Well, so far this is what we're looking at. There's the hardware wire on there not sure how high we are in the back yet but we just got it all framed up with two by sixes rough cut two by sixes so far it's the back side of it gonna get some staples we uh had some electrical staples that we used to put on there for right now. I'm going to get some heavier through here. Um, fencing staples. Take a trip downtown here soon. That's what we're looking at so far. This is 8x8. Eight eight. Check back in a couple minutes. We'll have some more done. <clears throat> well, so far so good. This is what we've come up with. The screed is 8 foot wide. An eight foot long it is set on a 45 degree angle i don't know if that's too steep or not but we're gonna give it a shot this is the welded wire that we got these are two by four inches and i have hardware wire that's gonna go over this it's a one inch square I might take this down and try it just the way it is, just to see what happens um, before I put the hardware wire on. Basically, we built this st this thing out of just scrap lumber I had laying around. We bought this panel. This panel was 16 feet long. It was $99 at a local feed store. Um, Seems to be pretty heavy duty. We gotta get different staples. We're gonna get some fencing staples. 
to put in this. I didn't have any, but we just used some electrical staples for right now to hold it down. Got it overlapped right here. So this fence was five foot tall by 16 feet long. And we cut it right in half. We ended up making the, the frame for this is 94 inches across, I believe. Yeah, 94. The way we cut, we were able to cut the fence right there. So then I overlapped one full complete bar right here is where it's overlapped. We cut this down, this lower section, we cut down to three foot. So we have a five foot section and a three foot section. So not exactly sure what we ended up with for a complete total drop there. But I wish we had a little bit more room down here along the bottom for debris. But worst case scenario, we could lift this up and put it on blocks. That would get me higher in the ground because I do have a little bit of room left with the tractor. The tractor will lift up. That tractor will lift eight feet high, flat. So later on, we'll get the tractor out and we'll see how much room we got. Should be able to get down over the edge real pretty good with it. So yeah, that's that's our uh, topsoil screed so far. She's pretty rugged. There's the back side of it. Get some more uh, done on it and I'll let you know. Brace up those two boards there, they're eight foot long. Rusty sled up, laying in the gravel. We're seven foot to the top. <clears throat> Excuse me. So seven foot high. My tractor lifts eight feet, so we should be able to clear this no problem. The box of this. It's eight feet. Eight feet wide. And then the measure. From the top down, ends up being 94. Here is the wire that I got to go over the top of this. This is two by four, like I said. And this stuff is one inch by one inch. 50 foot roll of it, cage wire. Some people call it hard wire, hardware, hardware wire. What do you call it, Buck? Hmm? Anyways, after we get that on, we'll be able to go down and try it out. I may actually just, like I said before, take it down and see how the material goes through this. Trial and error. That's what we're doing right now. That piece of wire cost $99. And I believe this was $29. So all together I've got $130 into it so far. Everything else I had laying around. Might need to get it off the ground a little bit more so that we have more room for material down here because it's going to stack up quick.
I just pulled up to the street and tilted the bucket up. And picked this bugger right up. Right off the ground. Looks like she's gonna be nice and portable. Well, here goes nothing. We got our screed down here to the landing where our topsoil pile is. Picked up beautifully. Just went in there with the front end loader and curled the bucket, laid right back and up the wind. There's our big pile of topsoil. I'm gonna scoop a couple scoops just to see how this, uh, this wire does here just to see what it, how much debris it, it takes out. I know it's not gonna be right down to the fines, nitty gritty like we want it to, but there's a lot of, lot of roots and some bigger rock in there that we might get sifted out. I just wanna try it, just for the heck of it. Then tomorrow we'll put the hardware wire on it and then sift some more. All right, let's get to it. just beautiful dirt look at that <laughs> amazing yeah there's some rock in there but I'm sure did clean it up a lot I don't know as nice as that looks I might not even put that other hardware wire on there. Look at that stuff, you guys. This is a clay in there, you know. But look at the big rocks that thing just flung right out. <laughs> Love it. And we can just throw this stuff right over the bank.
down here at the dirt screed it was a couple days ago since we built this uh, i wanted to come down and give a little couple of updates of what we did to it after we used it the first time first thing we did was i added another board down here it might want to add even more height to that just to keep the dirt from spilling over um also we put posts in at each corner to keep it steady because i noticed you know when you get in there to get the dirt out of it it uh, was pushing it just a little bit which i knew was something i wanted to do and also we went around and got all the fencing staples put in quite a few of them to hold this down a little bit better In the future we're probably going to build some sort of shelter for the topsoil too so that we can have some dry dry stuff on hand because that's the secret if you got dry dirt especially during a wet season boy you could sell that stuff pretty daggone easy but uh, if you're new to the channel my name is dave and this is summit outdoors i appreciate you watching uh can stay tuned for uh further updates on the dirt screed and the possibilities of maybe uh, we build build something else uh, if we need to make some improvements to this uh, we'll keep you updated thanks for watching again have a great day